Hello guys, welcome back to Slimming It with me, Shelby. I am not even dressed for the day yet. It was kind of a tiring night with the little pup. She had me up super early this morning. Um, I don't know what day it is. Tuesday, September, I think the 18th, <clears throat> 18th or 19th. I have not just like talked to the camera and vlogged at home, I feel like in a little while. So I wanted to say hello and check in with you guys. Um, I've been decorating for fall and I've been taking care of the puppy and just doing stuff around the house. And I've got some little projects I wanna to do today so I figured I would pick up my camera and have you guys hang out with me today and join in. Um, let's see Phoebe. Phoebe girl. What you doing? Hi Sky. So these two are best friends. Phoebe's chewing on a stick that she brought in from outside that I've pulled out of her mouth four times, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, she is doing amazing. Her and Skye, like I said, are best friends. We're just still working on the potty training. I got her this little playpen for during the day when I need to like focus on something and I don't have the time to just follow her around. Because <laughs> with the puppy, if you want them to be well behaved and you want them to be potty trained or just trained in general, you have to be like 24 seven supervision to make sure that they're not doing anything uh, wrong and that you can correct them every time they are doing something wrong or not potting in the house or whatever. Um, but today she went to the back door and scratched the back door to go potty. And she's that's the second time she's done it. Sometimes she does it, sometimes she doesn't, but I am so excited because that is major progress to know to go to the back door to potty. Um, but all in all, everything has been really good. She's been doing really well. Um, she's learning quickly. She's super smart, super cuddly. She's freaking adorable, you guys. Like this puppy is everything I've ever wanted in a puppy. Um, I love Skye so much, but she doesn't cuddle. Or she doesn't do affection, and I'm so happy to have a little puppy to cuddle with. Just wanted to say hi and go ahead and start the vlog for the day. About to have some coffee and then go upstairs and get dressed and ready and everything and then start all my little projects for the day. Oh, I'm about to make some fresh juice as well. Um, we're having the usual apple, lemon, orange, carrot, celery. Oh, the cucumber. Guys, I have gotten ready for the day. I've been drinking coffee and today on my agenda, I'm doing a lot of organizing and stuff. Um, so I was just going through, I have like, I keep every birthday card, I kept all my wedding cards, I keep every Christmas card anyone sent, sent me, any note anyone's ever written me, any like ticket or like plane ticket or something that from when David and I first got together, I keep them all. So I got a new nice little memories box for that stuff and I was just organizing that. Now I am... I got these on sale yesterday at Hobby Lobby. Look at all the things. Um, I have allowed myself one little junk drawer in the house, but um, I want it to be organized, so I think I'm going to, if this fits, oh yeah, put that in there and organize that today. I'm organizing some stuff over there. I got some more baskets in there. I am also working on making some cashew cheese two cups of cashews soaking for 12 hours. Um, and I'll update you guys on that later. I'm also making my own fall wreath today and it's not that hard. I'm just, um, I already had this from Hobby Lobby and I didn't end up using it in the house so it's just been sitting in the garage. Well, this was 40% off so I got that. I think I'm gonna paint this white and just attach it to this and put that on my front door. So, just feeling creative today getting some organizing done that I've been wanting to do. Look how much better this is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love some organization. Let me tell you what. We got some more organization happening. Oh yes, yes. So the remotes usually are just like out there and I don't love that. So now we got a spot, we got the cords. And we got backup candles and lighters. And I usually put these in that right there, but it's fall time, so we switched it out. So we got the little candle and lighter section. And then down here, we got the extras and movies and stuff. All my other OCD people will 
love this organiz organization section. Jamming some Miranda Lambert um, radio and just getting stuff done. My next project is going to be spray painting my Hello Paul sign. So let's get going. I'm so excited to hang up my wreath. Ain't nobody quite like you. Got me falling through and through. Straight to the top, I'm tumbling. My roller coaster's rumbling. Can you please explain why I'm acting out my brain? No, oh, I've never. Okay, that took like no time to dry because it's so hot outside and I left it right in the sun. I'm going to with this burlap attach it to this and i'll show you guys the final product once i have it up on the door okay i think it looks pretty cute so when you drive by you'll just see that isn't that adorable oh my god i love it look how sweet my girl is look how sweet my girl is oh my goodness she cuddles and she gives kisses. Look at that face. Look at that face. And she loves her mama. I love you, honey. Oh my God, have you ever seen a sweeter face? Hello, welcome to the workout portion of the video. Um, I did an upper body circuit for this workout and then I did some abs at the end. Uh, the movements here are pretty self-explanatory, but what I wanted to tell you guys is that you're going to do four exercises back to back with a one minute break um, and then start it over again. After you've done that for four rounds, then go into the ab exercises, which are at the end of this workout and do three sets of each of the ab exercises. This workout had me very sore the next day. Um, my abs especially and my chest a little bit from the push-ups that I'm doing right here. So it was a great workout. Um, I was in and out of the gym in like an hour and a half, so super quick. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this workout and please like and comment if you use this workout for yourself. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now and let you guys enjoy the rest of this workout portion and I'll see y'all later in the video. doing girls? Phoebe. <laughs> Hello everyone it is now sorry about that it is um what's today Wednesday morning um I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because I got busy doing stuff um so 
that's just life that's what happens but like i said it's wednesday morning and david has left for a couple of days to work in vegas so got the house to myself for a couple of days um i wanted to show you guys this um sports bra and legging set that i ordered online now it looks exactly like gymshark i've never ordered from gymshark because i find it to be like pretty dang expensive um to order something online i don't know just when it comes to ordering online because like for clothes because i have definitely ordered something online in the past and it didn't fit and then i had to like pay shipping costs to get it back. So it was just like a bunch of waste of time, waste of money. I've never ordered from Gymshark, so I've never had that experience with Gymshark, but I don't know how I feel about spending, um, you know, up to like $50 on a pair of leggings online and like 40 bucks for a sports bra. Like, no thank you. I just get sports bras um, either on sale at Dick's from Reebok or I'll get them at Walmart for like $12 because I don't have anything to, to support really. I just need it there so that my nips aren't popping out. Um, anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, so I look disgusting. I have not even like brushed my teeth or washed my face yet this morning. So this is what you get. There's this girl that I follow on Instagram and she had put on her Instagram story to go to like a specific link if people wanted um, things that look like Gymshark, look like Gymshark and feel like Gymshark but don't want to pay the price. So I went to that link, watched a YouTube video, and this girl was like very informative on um, basically this Gymshark dupe that she found. And I have it on right now because I ordered it from a, um, a website called AliExpress, A-L-I Express, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I got a sports bra and leggings for plus shipping for like $23. It did take about two weeks for it to come in the mail, but um so worth it um like i said i've never worn gymshark so i can't compare 100 percent but the quality of the <clears throat> the things i'm wearing right now is like amazing the leggings are like so thick and easy to put on and like they just suck you in it feels so good i love about the sports bra like for me i have um a really wide upper body so and I have like extra fat right here in my arms and I hate when it like piles over, like when sports bras come all the way up to here and then it's just like sticking out like that. With this one, it comes down a little bit further and I just kind of feel more um, comfortable. I don't see it as much. Now, let me show you guys the leggings because the leggings are insane and I totally, totally plan on ordering like this in every single color. I'm gonna work out in it today too, just to make sure like it's sweat proof and it feels good and moves well. And then I wanna wash it at least one time before I decide to order some more because um, yeah, just put it through all the obstacles. But let me show you guys in the mirror really quickly. Okay, so here is the set. And as you can see, it looks exactly like the Gymshark. Um, it has like the detailing here on the side and there on the bottom. The material is super thick. So I feel extremely sucked in right now. Um, and then this right here has like the detailing too that accentuates and makes your waist look smaller. Same with the sports bra. And then it has like the cross on the back and it has like the detailing that's supposed to accentuate your butt. So. Um, I am ob ob I'm obsessed. Like, look how cute, and it literally looks exactly like Gymshark, and I paid $23. I'm loving it because it's, like, really cinching in this area. That's, like, my problem area, which I know for a lot of women, that's their problem area. And as you can see, it's making me look completely flat. So, I will link below where I got this. If you guys are interested in saving some money and getting pretty much the exact same thing, except it just doesn't have the logo. So um, I don't care about logos or name brands or anything like that. So this is like the perfect set for me. The only thing that sucks is that at my gym, I can't like go in and wear this and I would love to do that. I have to like, you have to cover your stomach and you can't like show too much side and things like that. But um, any other gym, I would just wear this because it's only showing a little bit of 
um, the top of my stomach. Check out the link below if you guys are interested in this as well. My cashew cheese is ready. I'm so excited about it. Um, I keep getting out of focus. I tried just the cream uh, last night with a little bit of lemon zest and chive on top. Oh my God, but like on a pizza toast, it was so good. So I haven't even looked at it yet. I'm so nervous. I really hope it came out okay, but let's get it out of the fridge. If you see this sauce anywhere, Costco, Whole Foods, wherever else they may carry it, you need to try it. It's so good. Chipotle will forever be my favorite and the best one in my opinion, but so freaking good. Anyway, here we go. Oh my God, you guys, I'm nervous. What if it's not, what if it's not right? It wouldn't matter if it was just a quick little thing. Prepping the cashew cheese is super easy, but it's like, 12 hours of soaking, 12 hours of being in the fridge. So it's a long process. Ooh, oh my God. Damn. It tastes amazing, but since I don't have a cheesecloth, I'd use like a kitchen towel. Sorry, that's all they do all day. Um, so it's not gonna come off of the kitchen towel, but the flavor and the consistency is amazing. The consistency is like a thick, almost like um, when you bake uh, brie cheese and you cut open, you cut it open and you like spread it onto toast or whatever. It's almost like that consistency. That's the closest thing that I can compare it to. Just really thick and creamy. Oh my God. That is the final product. As you can see, it's like, it's really thick. Um, so I am going to put this on some toast with some lemon zest and chive on top. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. Look how amazing. I have lemon zest and chive and a little bit of sea salt on top. Oh my God, I'm so excited to eat this. It's gonna be so good. Of course, I went like all extra to take a cute picture of it, but um, let's try it out. It's so good. Oh my God. I got the recipe off of a girl I follow on Instagram. Her name is Valeria Ray. Um, she's vegan, she's a YouTuber, and um, yeah, so here's her page. I just went to her highlights and went to recipes. It's right on here, but look how hers came out because she had the right cloth for it. Guys, so hers came out like an actual like, like cheese. Um, I little cheese wheel. Cheese. And when she cuts into it, it literally oh. is like... Um, let's see how this looks inside. It's super creamy. Now I'm gonna spread this. Oh, this looks so good. So the consistency of mine is exactly like that too. I just couldn't the cloth wasn't right so i couldn't like get it to look like a cheese wheel but i'm gonna keep making this because it's amazing so i'm going to enjoy my breakfast and my time alone and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video mm, my god it's so good